you find more planets from hell. Weird, nightmarish, and uninhabitable. This is Koro 7B. A world of violent extremes. Two hells in one. It's so close in that its star looms 360 times larger in the sky than our sun. On Koro 7B, the first hell is unimaginably hot. The surface is a furnace, roasting at 4,700 degrees. Lava boils, turning the atmosphere into vaporized rock. When a cooler front moves in, small pebbles condense and rocks rain from the sky. If that's not a classic vision of hell, I don't know what is. But that's only half the story. The hot side of the planet is locked, permanently facing the star. Beyond is the twilight zone. It's temperate here, cool enough to turn the lava oceans into solid rock. But this pleasant zone is narrow. Travel further and you descend into a second hell. This is the dark side. the half of the planet that never sees the sun. Eternal darkness and savage cold. The temperature is hundreds of degrees below zero. So one side is hot, another side is cold. You either have you know, fire or ice in the extreme, the coldest places in the universe and the hottest places in the universe. You couldn't think of a worse place to end up. The planet was not always this way. Turn back the clock 1.5 billion years. Koro 7b is forming. But it isn't rocky. It's a gas giant. A hundred times bigger than Earth. It migrates in toward its star. As it closes in, the star blowtorches gas from the planet. Its gaseous shell blasts off into space to reveal a rocky core. Koro 7b is the skeletal remains of a hot Jupiter. Its parent star has reduced this once massive gas giant to a rocky cinder. <laughs> 